So when you think about the significance of the Council of International Schools accreditation to the school and the entire community, you need to reflect about the characteristics of an accredited school as well as, uh, you know, what's the criteria for accreditation. Now, the criteria for accreditation focuses on four key elements. And these, you know, against these elements, when we can say that the school meeting those elements is truly a, a an international school that's committed to excellence. The first one is the school must be committed to its vision and mission. And this must be very clearly articulated, very clearly understood by all you know, uh, people within the school community, including parents, children. Uh, and, and it must come from the board very well understood and articulated so that it's delivered on. And the second element is the one on the curriculum, the teaching and learning programs. The school must be committed to excellent delivery of international education. And that comes from a broad, well-articulated uh, curriculum that meets the needs of, of the children in line with the school's guiding statements and must also be well explained uh, within the school's uh, uh, statement on high quality learning. And the third element is the one of, of safety and well-being of the children. The school must you know, commit itself to the safety of the children. And, and that's very critical for parents and the families that join us, that they know that their children are safe when they're with us. And the fourth element is the one on global citizenship. And that goes without saying, as an international school, you must be committed to, to global citizenship and internationalism and delivery of your programs uh, in, an, in, a, in a way that takes care of internationalism. So those four key elements are the drivers, and under them you have you know, domains, domains such as governance, where we have uh, the leadership of the, the governor, the, the ownership of the school, as well as the board. Uh, and then from that, you have the school management, which, which, which uh, has SMT, which, uh, you know, basically manages the various elements of the school's programs and makes sure that all players are delivering on the school's stated mandate, as well as its vision and mission. And then, of course, you have the curriculum, which I've mentioned about in the teaching and learning programs, you have the safety and well-being of the children. You have the staffing, which is a key element, really, because to deliver on the school's programs, you need uh, staff that is well qualified, that understands its roles, that 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 understands what's expected of them in terms of the school's uh, uh, quality as well as uh, uh, performance management of the school. And, and that staffing element, you know, right from the way the staff come into the school all the way to the way the, the, their, their performance is, is checked. And then, of course, you have partnerships, which are critical. The school, for example, cherishes its partnerships with the various churches, and all these must contribute, really, to, to, to the delivery of the school's uh, programs. So for an accredited school, you want to make sure that you deliver, you know, in a wholesome way to all these key elements and expectations. And CIS checks keenly throughout the five-year cycle that there is continuous improvement in terms of the delivery uh, of, on the standards that are stated under those domains. So that's really, really critical. And for a parent, you want to know that your child goes to a school that's committed to excellence in terms of international education. Wow, what is the future outlook for Rosalia now that we receive the CIS accreditation? I can tell you it's really bright and exciting. We have a very clear path now uh, to follow through in the next five years as we seek the second accreditation. And on this path, we have pillars that align very well with our strategic plan. When I think about our teaching and learning, and now we have a quality statement uh, for teaching and learning. So innovative ways, more enhanced innovative ways of teaching and learning. When I think of our facilities, and now that we have a master plan, uh, a phase one, a phase two, a phase three, that in the five years down the line, as we seek the next accreditation, 
that there are certain things that will need to be in place and we continue enhancing a 21st century look in our facilities and environment. When I think of the next five years, what's the outlook for us? I think of the people and enhancing our capabilities and our talents, how we can uh, do what we do even better. Because when I think about the e-pedagogies, when I think about the virtual school, um, new areas that we are going to be exploring to give uh, many more children a chance to learn in the way they learn best. I think these are wonderful possibilities. I also think of enhancing our own, uh, what is called bespoke curriculum, intercultural uh, intelligences, intercultural interactions. Because after all, we are preparing these children from the, for, the, for the global world. And connecting then the technology and ensuring that the technology that we now have in place uh, will enhance um, certain aspects like artificial intelligence, gamification, robotics, and that the enterprise resource planner that we have and the school management system is going to enhance our efficiency in the way we deliver service, both internally and externally. And thinking external, I'm thinking of the wonderful partnerships we are now open to on the international platform like the Association of International Schools of Africa. I'm thinking of the Association of Christian Schools International. These are now uh, associations that we can now confidently uh, look up and seek their partnership to enhance what we do in Rusinga and enhance that excellence we have been looking to and having the CIS accreditation, a stamp of approval that clearly gives us an indication and confirms that we are on the right track, I think the future can only get brighter from here on.